Sometimes when kids are really young, they talk in a really cute way. Like maybe they say tup instead of cup or girl instead of girl. But this is actually something called the phonological process of velar fronting. This is neurodiversipedia. Let's talk about what it is and how to help kids get through it. A shorter way to say this is velar fronting. It's when kids replace the sound that happens in the back of their mouth with a sound that happens in the front of their mouth because it's easier to say. The sounds that this normally happens with are K sounds and G sounds, and they'll usually replace them with T's and D's. Examples of this would be like saying Tate instead of cake or T's instead of keys. When should velar fronting disappear? Well, typically it disappears around age three. So if your kiddo's three or older, you might want to go to a speech pathologist to kind of work on some of those skills to get rid of that velar fronting. A lot of people wonder, is velar fronting a sign of a speech disorder? It's not always. It can be, especially if it's happening after your kiddo's three years old. But sometimes it's just part of learning language. What does a speech pathologist do, though, to help kids work through velar fronting? They'll use things like auditory discrimination, tactile feedback, or even auditory cues. Did that help you understand the term? If yes, give us a thumbs up or subscribe below. If it didn't, then leave us a comment and tell us why. What are we missing? We always want to do better. This is a project by Goalie. Check us out at getgoalie.com.